Check it out now. Check it out now. Man, the internet got to stop, man. What y'all think this is, man? Breaking Bad? What do you think? Like, like somebody's Walter White? You think you think there's lawyers like, yo, Saul Goodman that's, like, just doing all this type of stuff? Who's Gus Fring? Y'all got to put me up on game, man, because today a lawyer who has represented uh, Yo Gotti and pretty much a lot of the CMG family, including the same lawyer who helped Black Youngster to beat the case. Remember that case where he caught back a couple years ago with CIAA weekend? There was a hundred shot shot at a uh, bulletproof car that allegedly Young Dolph was in. He survived. However, they found a car that did the drive-by shooting, and of course it was a rental. <laughs> Dummy. Okay, and the rental was in Black Youngster's name. Anyway, he beat the case. You know who helped him beat the case? Uh, a lawyer called Art Horn. Okay? Now, rumors are spreading online that, you know, Justin Johnson, the guy who was in charge with killing Young Dolph, was actually being represented by the same guy. What a coinkydink, huh? Like, the guy who basically represented somebody trying to kill him back in the day is not representing somebody who actually did? Huh? Now, this came from a, uh, a journalist today from Fox 13. They said, new information, straight job, a.k.a. Justin Johnson, he's a new lawyer, Art Horn, which is the lawyer I was telling you about, just dropped or just told me drop got dropped, okay? Horn confirmed he is not representing anyone associated with a young Dolph murder case. And people in the last, like, day or two have been kind of thinking, oh, snap, he just took, him off the, took himself off the case because he's caught red-handed. We got him. He was trying to, or maybe somebody hired him to represent the, 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 the killers of Young Dolph, right? Now, he actually came out to say, bruh, cut the malarkey, man. I ain't got nothing to do with this, okay? He put out a press release. He said, yo, after hearing or after reading a few recent articles, receiving numerous phone calls and text messages from friends and colleagues, it's come to my attention that my name and law firm have been associated with an individual who was recently arrested for the murder of Adolph Thornton Jr., also known as Young Dolph. At this time, I would like to dispel any rumors and or misinformation that relates to my representation involving anyone charged with the murder of Adolph Thornton Jr. At no time have I now or ever been retained to represent any of the individuals arrested for the murder of young Dolph. Okay? Now, basically, you're saying it's scap, okay? No. And by the way, this is where we got to really chill out. I know there's fans and a lot of people who are trying to put pieces together, and yes, I will say there was like a really brilliant like Instagram person who kind of solved the murder like the day after it happened. Cops took like pretty much a month and a half to catch people. But we have to chill out. People are trying to create conspiracy theories. And if you wonder why like like Yo Gotti like pushed his album back and is not dropping and is not saying shit, I don't even think he's involved in any of this. I just think he don't want when he's dropping his music, people are uh, trying to talk about or mention Young Dolph. OK, now I know for some people they're like, I get the fuck on out of here. They're probably involved some way, somehow. Listen, I'm not saying it's one way or the other, but we got to stop jumping to conclusions. Now, do I believe this lawyer? Do I believe this lawyer may have been on the case and hopped off? No, he was never on it at all. OK, let me just give you some actual facts to be a lawyer for someone in a criminal case. you got to file a letter of intent to represent or you have to alert the court okay by a letter to say i am the official counsel for this person okay that will let the court know to communicate with you if they need the the the, the defendant to do something or whatever their motions or whatever right that was never filed in this case okay especially by uh um, art horn so like he, he never ever put any documents in court to show that he was intending to represent Justin Johnson, a.k.a. Straight Drop, which is just, which means it's pretty much cap. Now, if you guys know anything about, like, getting, you know, if you get locked up on some criminal stuff, you're going to have a first appearance, okay? A first appearance, you're going to either show your representation because maybe you hired somebody good and they're going to try to get you bail and or enter a plea. Uh, you know, sometimes it's paired with an uh, uh, arraignment. Or, honestly, it might just be a certain situation where you just get a public defender. The point is this, okay? This whole thing that's trying to tie other people that we don't know any or we have no proof that they're involved currently to the death of Young Dolph is premature. The only people we know are goddamn guilty are the people who are wearing those masks and firing those Dracos or firing those whatever gun they had at Young Dolph, okay? They believe it's to be the two people, Cornelius and Justin Johnson, and the cops are trying to figure out other things, okay? I think while people do a good job of trying to, you know, help point cops in the right direction sometimes they could make investigations worse by just coming up with wild conspiracy theories because it makes for a good story and it makes for a good sitcom 
but this is not a movie. This is real life. I'm not saying it can't be true. I'm just saying it's a little premature, okay? You guys get in the comments. You guys like them. Subscribe. What do you think about this? Basically, a lawyer who frequently represents CMG, Yo Gotti, and Black Youngster has now come out to deny that he has ever intended or ever would represent the killer of Young Dolph. Get in the comments. Your boy Academics.